the Shishfluke 64 Max IR thermometer is a non-contact infrared thermometer designed for measuring surface temperatures quickly and accurately. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to use it. 1. Powering on the device. Turn on. Press and hold the Chan Shun power touch button on the thermometer for about one second to turn it on. The display should light up, showing the current temperature reading. Truffin 2. Setting the emissivity. The Fluke 64 Max has a fixed emissivity of 0 0.95, suitable for most surfaces. However, you can manually adjust it if you need to measure surfaces with a different emissivity. For typical use, you won't need to adjust this, as 0 0.95 works well for most materials. 3. Measuring temperature. Aim the thermometer. Point the infrared thermometer at the surface you want to measure. The laser pointer will show you the area the thermometer is measuring. Ensure the target area is within the thermometer's and spot size ratio. For the Fluke 64 Max, this is typically 12 to 1, meaning the spot diameter will be 1 foot at 12 feet of distance. Distance to spot ratio. To get an accurate reading, Make sure the target is within the proper distance range. For example, for a 1 inch diameter spot, you'll need to be about 12 inches away from the target. 4. Reading the temperature. Once you aim at the surface, the thermometer will immediately display the temperature in Celsius degrees or Fahrenheit degrees, depending on the setting. You can toggle between Celsius and Fahrenheit by pressing the Schunitzkas button, usually marked with a degree Celsius slash degree Fahrenheit symbol. 5. Setting the high-low alarms. The Fluke 64 Max allows you to set high and low temperature limits, and it will alert you when the measured temperature goes outside of the set range. To set alarms, press and hold the re alarm button to enter the settings menu. You can adjust the high and low values using the arrow buttons. If the measured temperature is above or below the limits, the thermometer will show a visual and or audible warning. 6. Taking multiple measurements. You can continue taking temperature measurements by simply pressing the Charge Trigger C button each time you want to measure a new spot, the screen will update with the new reading. The thermometer can store multiple readings, up to 99 readings, in memory. Use the Record as button to view the stored data. 7. Turn off the thermometer. The Fluke 64 Max will automatically turn off after a period of inactivity to save battery. You can also manually turn it off by pressing and holding the March Power Toe button. Chakushi 8. Other features. Backlight. Press the Shartunj backlight in button to activate the backlight for low light conditions. Hold function. Press the full holden button to freeze the current temperature reading on the display, allowing you to record or view it more easily. Naha. Tips for accurate readings. Ensure clear line of sight. Avoid obstructions or anything that might interfere with the thermometer's infrared sensing. Adjust for reflective surfaces. If you are measuring shiny or reflective surfaces, you may need to use a special tape or mat to reduce reflection and improve accuracy. Avoid direct sunlight. When measuring, Direct exposure to sunlight or other strong heat sources might skew the readings. If you follow these steps, you should be able to take accurate temperature measurements quickly and easily with your Fluke 64 Max IR thermometer.